Today I am going to show you how to map your knobs and pads on Alton 9 or 8, anything you want. Basically it's the same thing. So you want to open up your Akai NPK mini editor. Press NPK mini again. For your pad banks, you want pad number one, C3, pad number two, C number three, pad three, D3, pad four, D number three, pad five, E3, pad six, F3, pad seven, F number three, pad eight, G3, pad on bank two, you want E2, for pad 1. Pad 2 is F2. Pad 3 is F number 2. Pad 4 is G2. Pad 5 is G number 2. Pad 6 is A number 2. Pad 7 is A number 2. Pad 8 is B2. For your CC on your knobs, what you want to do is press 1 for that. Press 2, keep on going, to reach 8, all you have to do is click on CC, you, you could save it if you want, upload, and you can exit this out, and open up Ableton. Now, what you want, I'm just gonna get um, normal, I'll just do normal piano. Alright, so that works. Okay. To work it, you just have to press that. So, to map it, press MIDI, everything's gonna become blue. Click on your stiffness, move your knob, it works, perfect. So that's good. Now for plugins, what you want to do is, op you want to open up your plugins, open up Massive, Open up any sound you want, and you can do it with anything you want. I'm just going to do make it wet, press MIDI mark, and move. Once you got that down, it works. If it still doesn't work for you, the knobs, what you want to do is go to your live preferences, go to MIDI sync, and open up and just do whatever I want. Do whatever I have. If it still doesn't work, what you want to do is open up control surface number one and press MPK 25. And if you don't have an NPK mini, you just, whatever you have, just do that, I don't know. So, that's your, that's, yeah. For your pads, that only works for a massive. It's not giving you drums. So, go in your search bar, drum rack. You just and go to all results, drum rack right there, top one. And you want to get a 
when I told you to um, set it, set your pads to E3 and everything, G2, that's it. I'm pressing this, this is pad one. That's E3, F3, F number three, G number three, D number three, D3, C number three, C3. And for padding two, you got G number two, A2, A number two, D2, E2, F2, F number two, G2. So you got all 16 pads over there. And to put noises on it, what you wanna do is open up any sample. You can just look up kick. Oops. Kick. So, kick right there. And symbol. Crash. Anyway, that's how you do it. And there you can save it like that. But I don't want to save it, so don't do that. And I got, I already got one. It's pretty nice. So you can make it like a whole bunch of cool sound. And you got having number two, which I put. So that's pretty much it. I hope I helped. And let me know what you thought in the comments. Please like the video. Yeah.